to upload a sermon or an audio or video file to your website, uh, we first need to log into Ministry Builder. And uh, you'll notice in the top left here, you might see Site Apex, or you would see Ministry Builder. And you need to log in with your admin, username, and password, we, because we need to ensure that you have a library set up for your files to be placed. So uh, what we're going to do first is click on Modules on the top left of your screen and scroll down to Media and Resource Library. And you'll see here that there are currently no libraries available. That's because this website has, um, has just been installed with the Media and Resource Library. So we're going to click on Add Media Library. And we're going to call this one Sermons. And you'll see here that um, the public access rights here refers to users um, who are visiting your site. And obviously you don't want to give someone um, access to all of your files and, and uh, you don't need them downloading and deleting your files and directories. But uh, if you would like, you can. Uh, they are able to um, view the file and download like anyone else. The other person you might, people you might want to set up are the administrators on your website. And these people will have full control to add or edit files. And let's give this, all the administrators here, full control. And again, if you would like some information on podcasting, um, then uh, we could help you with that. But let's submit this folder called Sermons. Let's continue and uh, ensure that our sermons are attached to a page on our website. So let's go back to Sitemap. And let's add a, a category. And underneath, this is About Us. Well, under About Us for now, for our demonstration, we're going to add a category here and call it Sermons. Before we click Submit, though, let's um, select the type of page this is going to be. And we want this page to be a media and resource library, and we're going to submit this. Now, for our demonstration, we don't need to type any content in here because we're, all of our information is going to be drawn from the library called Sermons, which we just created. So now you can see that under About Us, we should have a category called Sermons. Let's publish this. And now our website is live. Let's open up our website in a new tab. And we already know that this tab is realhopeassembly.com. And now under the About Us, we have our sermons. And here we are. This is our the beginning of our media library. And this is our standard player view. So you will see that now we can add a file. Now we could edit this folder and, and change the settings. Let's do that first. Because classic layout is good. But let's change our layout to media player standard. And let's change it to black. I think black would be appropriate for this website. Submit. Now we have a design that fits our website. And let's have a look at these buttons, these icons that are here right now. We could uh, add a new folder if we wanted to create a subfolder for what we are doing. Or we could add our file. And you'll notice this little door icon. Um, we are currently logged in right now to Ministry Builder, and that gives us full access and full rights and privileges. But uh, the average person, site user, would not see this. But you would look for this door for uh, when you're ready to log into your website to update your files. So let's add a sermon, we'll say, for our church here. Let's give this title Our Great Sermon. And you could type whatever you would like in the description. And then we're going to choose our file. And I do have 
a file prepared here. One of my favorite speakers, uh, Stuart McLean. We can upload this MP3 and we can also add a thumbnail. So we have an image to look at while our file is playing. Now we could change the date if we didn't want today to be the natural date that the file is recorded as. If this was a Monday morning and uh, I wanted to put Sunday's sermon up, I could just change the date to yesterday. There are also additional files we could upload. Uh, for example, if you want someone to have access to your sermon notes while they're listening, you could upload your PDF or your Word files and upload your sermon notes directly uh, to the website and let's upload mine sermon notes from Sunday. We could add another file like a Word document, but we don't need to. And now we wait for it to upload. The faster the internet connection you have, the faster your file is going to upload to the website. Okay, our file has uploaded and it automatically begins to play. So let's pause that. And you'll notice here our audio file is with our image. And you'll see this is your media player. Uh, it is currently playing our great sermon. But we do have the option to download the file. Or over here you see how they have the option to uh, undock the player if you wanted to continue browsing the website or you wanted your user to keep browsing the website. You would simply click this and a new window would pop up and the player would play in a separate window so that someone uh, didn't have to hang on to this web page. They wouldn't be stuck on this page. They could continue browsing your website. And here are sermon notes we um, left available for people to download. But, uh, you're able to filter and search for any speaker or any file that you might want to add uh, that you might have in your list. Um, it doesn't take much to sort your files by type, title, and uh, we currently have a custom field here, but um, you could change this word custom and it could say speaker. And so I would put title and speaker and date, and you could sort them either way. We want, we want to make it easy for you to find the file you're looking for. Um, you can also download this file. You could edit this file. You could, un you could lock or unlock the file if you didn't want other people in your church to have access uh, to that file, or you could delete the file. One more thing we should do, since we do want this custom field to be something else, we should edit this folder. And let's change the name of that custom field to speaker. And if these are messages, we might want to sort them by date first. Uh, so that the most recent date comes up. And now you'll see that we have our title, our speaker, and our date organized. And we think you will enjoy these, uh, this new feature, Ministry Builder, and it's free for you if you're a Ministry Builder client. So enjoy, and let us know what you think. Thank you.